In our shire, we have a 2,700 square kilometre shire. It's a very large shire. And about 60% of that is covered in natural bushland. But a lot of it is being cleared for agriculture and, and urban development. So Land for Wildlife is about um, encouraging people to conserve what they have left. It's a voluntary entry-level conservation program. Karen Hi, Karen. Karen, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Council's role is really to facilitate that. I'm a regional provider of Land for Wildlife. It's coordinated at the state level by the Community Environment Network. In terms of the area conserved, we have about 2,500 hectares that are conserving a part of their land for, for nature conservation and for wildlife. We're getting up close to the um, 100 properties and a wide ranging, so we've got properties over on the east. Close to the escarpment, we've got Robertson Rainforest that's conserved under Land for Wildlife. Right out west here to Canyon Lee, where we've got more scrubby, dry sclerophyll and some wetter sclerophyll areas as well that are conserved. We're very lucky and privileged to get out to these places and, and see the landscapes and see the amazing views and the beautiful environments. The social interaction with these people that I really enjoy and hearing their stories and hearing about what they would like to do with their property. I love helping people learn a little bit more about their property and get them thinking about what might be living on their land, what might be moving through their property. It's very easy to become a member. All you need to do is have half a hectare or more of, of area you would like to conserve, be it a wetland, a native grassland, a patch of bush or rainforest. If you meet that criteria and you also have a willingness to protect and conserve the wildlife on your property, then you're welcome to join Land for Wildlife. People can make a difference by planting the right species, seeing the birds coming back, creating some sheltered areas for lizards and other reptiles, seeing the insects come back. And people who put up their hand and say, look, I'm a bit interested in this, um, they really commence a journey of discovery about their property. We sit down and we show them where their property sits in the landscape and where they are in relation to priority biodiversity corridors and where they are in relation to major waterways and spring-fed creeks and things like that. I suppose it's about trying to get some linkages in the environment too, some wildlife corridors linking the publicly reserved land like the national parks and state forests and things like that with privately conserved land. And it's becoming increasingly important to have private land conserved because of the stresses on our wildlife. They're facing climate change impacts, habitat fragmentation and loss. There's a lot of pressures on our wildlife. Every little bit helps. We need to maintain our biodiversity. We can't keep moving in a direction of more extinctions. We have to do what we can to preserve what we've got.